Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This is a very exciting tutorial because I am happy to introduce a brand new bone motor for Creature. This new bone motor is called appropriately the leg motor. Okay, and what I have here on screen is what it's capable of doing. This is an example animation of Smalodon, which is a saber tooth cat, a prehistoric saber tooth cat actually, that lived uh, quite a while back, it's extinct now, don't worry. But this creature or character was animated in Creature using the new leg motors to perform some very sophisticated leg motion, as you can see here. The legs are three limbs, each, each, basically each leg is a three joint or three bone structure. And so there is a top part of the foot, the middle, and then the, the base foot, right? And so this motor is actually able to animate them like this in a very, very complex, uh, sophisticated way, okay? So we'll get to that in a moment. I'm gonna close this demo. Let me get to the leg motor, all right? Let's see, what, what is it all about? Now, before leg motor, the way you did automated or procedural walk cycle animation creature was you would use the IK rotate motors. Now before I continue again, I want to emphasize that if you wanted to animate your walk cycles manually, of course you can do that in Creature. You can just go in and drag the handles with FK and manually place the bones, okay? So nothing's stopping you from manually animating your perfect walk cycle. But what if you wanted to actually use the procedural motor system to save you some time? What would you do, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now let's start off with the IK rotate motor first to sort of revise some concepts, right? So if I select three bones, and I, if I select an IK rotate motor, okay, remember what the IK rotate motor does is that it basically does IK and targets around a circular arc. And you can actually tweak the, the shape of the arc, right? By changing the scale right and scale left and scale top parameters. For example, I'm changing the shape of the arc now, so it targets a different arc, okay? So that's kind of interesting, that's cool. But unfortunately, there is only so much an IK rotate motor can do if you want to, especially if you want to animate a more realistic or more sophisticated limb motion. Because in a limb motion, the top two joints might behave somewhat like IK, maybe, but the bottom foot normally twists and lifts up in a different way. Okay, so let's try the new motor. Let's try the new leg motor. So click on install motor and now click leg motor. Now, you need three bones. I need to emphasize, you need three bones for this to actually work. All right? It's specifically designed for a three bone system. Now, let's play it. Ah, uh, you see that? So now you get a nice leg motion almost for free already. You can see the foot actually lifts and then lands naturally. It actually bends and then lands on the ground just like a real foot. Okay? Okay, so how the controls work. It's actually really simple to use. You've actually, actually you've seen that I just selected three bones and installed them. So let me bring up this diagram first. This is the leg motor, okay? The leg motor essentially has two states. There's the lift state and the land state. Okay, lift is when the leg motor, the leg is, or the foot is actually in the air. So it's lifted. So it's gonna bend in, in a certain angle that you set. Okay, it's gonna assume that state. And then it travels the arc, and then it comes down and hits the ground. That's when it has ground contact. It hits the land state, okay? And then it stays in the land state for a duration that you want, and then it lifts off again, all right? And so let's take a look at the controls of the leg motor to, 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 to sort of put that into concrete terms. What does it mean? Now, there are a couple of parameters for the leg motor. Don't be overwhelmed by it, because they actually correspond directly with the states of, the, of, the, of, the, of this diagram, okay? So, a couple things you care about. First is the land angle. This is the angle that the foot will assume when it hits the ground. So in this case, I put zero degrees because you want it to be flat, okay? So similarly, you have the lift angle. This is the angle the foot will assume when it's lifted into the air. And I set it to negative 120. So it's you know sort of facing downwards, right? It's twisting down, okay? So those two things are important if you want to set the orientation of the foot when it's landed it's in ground contact and lifted. And the other things you probably care about are the speed. So how quickly it transitions from a lift to a land. This is the land land speed or the landing speed. So when it's set to 10, it means that it's going to transition with a speed of 10 to the landing phase. And 10 is a good value. Similarly, for lift speed, I've set it to 10 as well. Okay? 
And the other thing you care about is the land time and the lift time. So time is, the total time is from zero to 100. That's how it, it travels the entire cycle, the entire arc. So land time basically means that at time 10, the foot is going to assume it's going to assume it's going to come in contact with the ground. So it lands on the ground at time ten, and you want it to lift off at a much later time. So lift time always has to be greater than land land time. So lift time here is fifty. Okay. So these two times basically determine this section over here, this this segment, how how long it stays in the landing phase before it lifts off. Right. So you can play around with those values to get different leg motions. And, and then finally, this foot phase. So this basically offsets the motion. So if you wanted the, the foot to actually assume a landing or lifting phase, you want to offset it together, you would play around the foot phase. In fact, I recommend you to play around the foot phase first if you want to change the timing. Okay? By default, it's 30, but you can try different values. Like if you try 50, let's see what happens. You see, now it lifts up because it's closer to the landing time. So by playing around the foot phase, you can foot phase, you can basically change the timing of and or style of this foot. Okay, so let's set it back to thirty. All right, that's what we had before. Okay, and then let's do it for the other foot. We'll do the same thing. Leg motor. All right, and then we lift it up just a bit. All right. So now they're in unison. Now we want to make them out of phase, remember? Because we want, we want a, a walk cycle. So let's go in here and let's tweak the phase. Let's set it to say one, make it offset. And now you actually have two feet walking. That's pretty cool. And you get that all for free. This is a pretty sophisticated three limb leg motion that you just achieved with the procedural walk motor system. Okay, so let's put that into context and let's open up the Smile Dog project. Here's Smile Dog. And let me play it. There you go. So let's take a look at this guy here. The back foot is a leg motor. Both of them are leg motors, in fact. And I've set the foot phase to zero because I've been toggling them around and I, I sort of want zero offset. So they, they basically assume the lift motion immediately. And for the front foot, let's see what we have. For the front front uh, feet, also the foot phase of zero. So for the cat, uh, a foot phase of zero works pretty well. So that's basically how this animation is achieved, a combination of leg motors. Now the rest of the motion is done using the very powerful Ben physics motors. The tail is actually done with the, oh, let me stop it. Okay, the tail is actually done, there it is too. The tail is also done with the Ben physics motor, that's how it actually bends, okay. And the front of the neck, also has a band physics motor with a rotate cycle at the base driving it. So it sort of wobbles the head and the head itself has a stiffness so it sort of loosens up the head and reacts like muscle. That's basically how this entire motion is achieved. Okay. Alright, so thanks for watching this, this tutorial and I hope you have fun with the new walk motor.